we're going to talk a little bit about the different ways you can check an athlete in on the uh, Dasher app and have their results saved directly to your online dashboard. So the most popular ways to do it are uh, through the app using um, the athletes, uh, their badge ID, which you would upload um, when you uh, create all those athletes on your account, um, or just selecting them through the list. So obviously if you only have a handful of athletes, it's easy to select them from a list. If you are putting on an event with hundreds or thousands of athletes, then being able to assign them a number and enter in that number is much more efficient there. Um, the other popular route is our RFID system, um, where you have a RFID module at each station, and each athlete would have an RFID band. These bands are reassignable, so um, if you are a club team or a, um, a class at school, uh, the same athlete could use this all season long, checking in and over and over again, um, or you can reassign it to different athletes. So um, one athlete leaves, you can give it to the next, or if you're having certain testing days, maybe you just have it with one athlete for one day. So um, I'll quickly go through what both of these uh, look like. So um, uh, first we'll, we'll start with uh, selecting the athlete from a list on the app. Okay, now in the app, up at the top right, you'll see these three bars. If you click on that, you'll see a list of all the athletes you have here on your account. If you selected a specific roster before, it'll be filtered into that roster. So um, I can open this up and just select an athlete. And now they're checked in. If I run the drill, pretty quick there. That's what happens when you do it on the tabletop. Um, we've saved this result here for Sierra. Now I can also check in athletes by entering a number. So let's say I enter number one. Now I pull up Brooke here. That was his badge ID. So now I have Brooke checked in here. I can reset this, run the drill for Brooke as well. So um, this is the basic setting. You don't need any other hardware. Just simply going to the menu on the right, seeing um, the athletes here, being able to select them, enter in what their number is, or search for their name. Um, and this is also where you would scan a barcode there using this camera feature there at the top right. Now we have RFID. So like I mentioned, we have these RFID modules. They look like our blue lasers, but they are silver. They also come um, with a plastic clip on them that you can take off if you want. There is a thread under it to screw it onto a tripod, but this is meant to be able to clip onto one of our tripods um, so that say you have your phone on a full holder there that um, you can then mount the RFID mo module under it. So to, um, the first thing we're going to do with this is assign the band to an athlete. So say you have a box of 100 bands there, or you just have one or two. Either way, um, you would go in the app, you would go down to check in RFID here. Um, the, how you connect the RFID is like our old 2.0 lasers. You turn on the RFID module, and then you would press the connect button here. So it should connect within a couple seconds and now it's looking for athletes so it's waiting for you to scan the band so i'm going to take a band here and scan it get that a beep there and it's going to ask me if i want to um, assign that band to an athlete so yes i will that then gives me the list of all my athletes here so i'll find the athlete i want to assign it to select them confirm that i want to add it to that athlete and now that band is assigned. And I would do that um, for each athlete. So maybe you have a check-in station. If it's an event that um, athletes are coming through here, we're checking out with the band, giving it to them, and then they go off and do their testing. Or if it's a class, for instance, you can write somebody's number or name on the band, scan them all ahead of time, and then hand them out so they can use them throughout the season. Okay, so, now that we've assigned the band to an athlete, let's go to a drill. Um, let's say we're doing a, uh, a pro agility. Let's just do a one gate system here. Go to blue. Conveniently I have a 
gate here. And I want to connect that laser. Flash is blue on the back. Um, we want to connect the RFID module right down here. So we want to turn it off. And when we turn it on, press connect, that's how it connects. If you want to walk through what that looks like, there's a need help button up here um, that shows you the step through for how to connect an RFID, a display, blue laser, everything right there. So um, now that we have both our laser and our RFID module connected, um, let's start testing. Now, once it's uh, calibrated, we grab our athletes. Um, you see, we're ready to test here. We bump the RFID band against the module here. It beeps, it flashes blue. Athletes now checked in there. They step in to the gate to start the drill. Now I'm just going to simulate a pro agility. Okay, and now that result is uh, collected and we can save it to the dashboard. Now the next athlete would come and check in and we would do the same process over and over again getting through your athletes. And if you have your RFID modules at different drills, say you have a pro agility, a 40 yard dash, they could go from drill to drill checking in there using this. Um, from an automation standpoint, if you are for instance, a track team, and you're um, every week you're running flying 30s or whatever the drill might be. Um, you as a coach can set this up, um, and the the athletes all have their own bands, and they can go check in, run, and the athletes can go one after another doing that, that drill. Everything's automatically saved to your uh, dashboard, and um, you can go out and and be coaching, not have to sit there at that uh, drill all afternoon. So um, those are a couple of the ways that we're able to check in our athletes. We can also use a barcode scanner, uh, both with our wireless Bluetooth uh, a scanner, as well as what's pretty popular is the camera on the device. So that saves you need to have that extra hardware. Um, you can just use the camera on the device to scan their, their bib or a barcoded coded band or whatever you have there uh, to scan with a barcode on it. Thank you.